Chaos Tattoo for you, Richard, here, and it is time for a video and a possibly a sneeze. No. <laughs> so what this video is, is an update to my Itty Beers and uh, his Get It Painted Challenge. Um, as well as the, my combination of my Finish Not Perfect Personal Challenge. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go tape it down here in a minute. I'm just going to kind of show you... Where I'm at on the challenge, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I've been through. I was actually just watching uh, Mammoth Miniatures. If you go check him out, he's a member of the Legion of Gamza, but you should go check him out. He just posted a video today. It's Friday. Um, his army's on parade. Dark Eldar board. Really cool. You should really go check that guy that out, guys. And uh, Nick actually put up his armies on parade thing too. Kind of showed what his uh, what he placed just a couple days ago and stuff. Really cool board on him too. The armies on parade boards just seem so awesome. Seems like something I want to do. But it's stuff and things. I have so much stuff to do myself already. I don't want to add another thing at the moment. Yes, I do. No, I don't. But I do. I don't, but I do. Anyway, let's go table down and see this business that I'm at right now. So here we are, guys. We're going to start over here and just kind of pan to the this way. Um, I'll probably pause again in a second to set up a secondary light because it's awfully dark. This is my light. Hey, man. I won't set up a secondary light because my light went to poo poo land. It's done. Run off. Run off. There it is. My light. It's Apple light. Seriously? Really? Apple? Fake Apple. I got it from China. Ooh, let's wiggle the light like, thing and put lights everywhere and blind you folks. Alright, just to shine a little light on the stuff. So over here, um, all I've done so far is uh, prime the base on the platform. I haven't primed that guy yet. I'm still torn on whether or not I should add any more bits to it, so I've kind of held off a little bit. Haven't done anything to the commander or those two terrain pieces in the background. Let's get the zoom down. My wife's little part of the challenge. She hasn't started on those quite yet. There's the uh, cancer figure I need to get painted. This guy has been primed all up. And his... Here, we'll, we'll slow down before I go show off too much stuff. Shall we? There you go. So, I'm getting low today. Here we've got an Xbox controller. <laughs> so, here is the miniature portion. These are part of that Finish Not Perfect Imperial Knights challenge thing that I was doing myself. Let's bring this light down a little closer, shall we? There we go. So anyway, out of the original figures that I had, I only have the one left, and that's me. My personal character. This guy is not quite done yet, and he's just been primed black, so... Whoa! Hello! So you can't really see a lot going on on him. There we go. So yeah, that's my character. I wish he was bigger, but whatever. I still need to paint him, which he will definitely be next in the project. Um, but I finished all these other guys. So we're just going to kind of go through them so far. You've seen all these back dudes. You've seen the assassins. You've seen the little griff hound. Now, what we have here is... Me keep blocking the light... See if I can get this to stay. I took the octopus out of the beans, so I don't know how well it's going to stay. Let's turn you that way. So, let's go with first. my. Uh, so, as we know, in my Imperial Knight thing, my fluff dealy, I'm doing them all as like our personal house. I've changed the last name. Um, but it's, it, it's going to make characters for my family. Like my dad, my uncle, my brother, me. Um, I've even seen like some female figures that are aftermarket, like third-party figures that I kind of want to get for 
like say my my wife maybe throw her in there it's a really cool commissar figure from uh hassle-free miniatures but anyway um so we'll start with my uncle this is my uncle's character let's get this light set up again somewhere next to it there we go that's a little oh that's a lot better so that's my uncle's character so here he is so my uncle is kind of the tech guy and the pilot of the group like he pilots the like aircraft and stuff like spaceships and whatnot obviously there's ob ob obliskly oh the necrons are already taken over um obviously there's more things for him to fly and stuff besides just spaceships but and more people to help fly things but anyway um this was the figure i was going to originally use as myself but i lost it so i made another one and decided to just go ahead and keep the one i made as me uh, instead of turning it into this one which i mean i kind of wish i did but i could have put my beard on there instead of having this this one so i don't know I just look at it as I'm the first son, so I get the big hammer. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this is my uncle's character. He's got a, one of those little rifles on the back, little laser rifles. I'm not sure exactly what the Tempests carry, so I'm just going to call it a laser rifle, like a last rifle. Last gun. Um, he's got a little small hammer for the family hammer, because we put the hammer down. That's right. Um, dirtied him up a lot. And it's the blue, the red, and the yellow for the house colors. A little green around the base. So he is done. And then we've got my dad, who's in his pilot gear. My dad uses one of the old school pilots. He's traditional. So this is my dad's character. This is one that I got that I thought was Forge World, but it ended up being someone's three-printed figure. 3D printed figure, which isn't terrible. It looks it looks alright still. So, he's got like a gray jumpsuit on, and then he's got the gear on top of that, and the little Scion helmet. They're really cool figures, man. I wouldn't mind getting a couple more of these. Like, they have the seated one. I wouldn't mind getting one of those and painting it up the same way. But, yeah, I like the way it turned out. With the reds and the greens and the, I mean, the reds and the blues and stuff. And the one's got greens in there, too, for the little visors. But yeah, so he's all finished. And here's my brother's character. So. He's got his little beret on. So cute. And he's got... I gave him mostly... He's pretty much a Scion body straight up. Arms and everything is Scion. So this gun was the Scion's Medic. And it just had like the little needle point thing there. So I cut it off. This tip is from a sniper rifle. I believe, and I cut it off and put it on backwards to make it look like a little silence barrel, extended barrel. So he got himself a nice little pistol with a little chain sword on it too. Um, but he goes to battle when he pilots his knight. He he uses he just wears this. That's why these hoses are there because they'll just kind of go. He'll get in and they'll connect to himself to the pilot. Put a lot of gold on there in him. Still got the blues, some more greens. There's the yellow and the reds for the thing. This came off of the. Uh, same thing that the Griffhound came from, from the uh, Silver Tower box set. This was actually the butt plate, which has now become an arm plate. So, a lot of yellows and golds on him. We got the golds for the, like, higher the family people. They have the gold trim. And then we have the Apprentice. One of the Apprentices. Because I'm going to see if I can find some more Space Marine legs and torsos. And uh, I want to make some more Apprentices. I think I even... No, I don't. But if I can find another torso, which I might have actually, a torso at least, but at least one more set of legs, I'm going to do another apprentice because I really like the way he turned out. Um, he's got the scion arms. And uh, so the story I've done on the apprentices, and he's got all the, col the house colors and whatnot. But the story on the apprentices is this tabard here. I apologize if that's not called a tabard. I mean, it's a loincloth or whatnot, but we're just calling it a tabard for the time being. Um, I kind of scribbled that the first little letter is supposed to be like a big oversized K, and that's gonna that would say Kriegers or Krieger, and then scribbled out some stuff. So what that basically is is when you become a, an apprentice, this tabard is your contract, more or less. You vow in your service to the knights. 
and then he signed he signed it down at the bottom. It's a little black blip 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 is, and so during your apprenticeship, you wear the tabard around your waist like this, and then at, and once you become a full fledged knight, you no longer have to wear your tabard. This is actually placed inside of your knight with you, to show so you'll always remember, um, your personal house because everybody gets their own personal knight. Some pilot more than one. But in their main knight unit that they, they take into battle, this will be in it. So yeah, I kind of like the way he turned out too. Just I just uh, that helmet too, sick. That green on this side's a little bit brighter than that side, but whatever. Yeah. So um, again, the blues, the yellows, and the reds muddied it up with some uh, my uh, sienna wash. It's kind of got that nice little red to it. So that's all the finished stuff. So, you oh, no, I take that back. And this, I finished the base for the, uh, well, I call it, I'll call it an Arvis Lighter knockoff because I, I built it from scratch. But so I wanted just something simple. So you got the landing, the tarmac. I did a little hazard stripe pattern. Just found a couple of, like a gas canister and a little box and painted that up just for a little added detail effects thought about going back and maybe doing like a couple of hoses or something kind of running off from the side over here but i don't want to go too hardcore into it and i think this like this is it that is done so then this thing will just be on top of it i'm not gonna be able to put it on one-handed am i anyway but yeah so that'll be up above it like that like it's coming in for a landing um, and then eventually, you know, I need to paint up these little boxes and crates and stuff too. So things are coming together. Things are getting there. Um, I got in the mail from eBay, one of my purchases a while back, is 50 millimeter or 40 millimeter bases. The MDF bases. I like MDF bases. They're awesome, sturdy, and flat and cool. So I picked up some. I think it's like 10 of them for... Four or five bucks. Five bucks, I think. Because uh, I needed bases for my uh, crisis suits. My old crisis suits. Because I didn't have... I, I, honestly, I don't have any bases at all for a period. So, I picked these up. And I'll be able to use them. They're probably... I think they're the right size. I need to bust out my other crisis suits. The newer ones. And see and measure them up and make sure. But... Even if they're a little bit bigger, that's fine. Or a hair smaller, that's fine. Just as long as they're proportionate to these guys and look good. So I need to grab the other one eventually and still put him over here in the pile so I can have the three. But I'm going to probably go ahead and take three of these and detail it up. Put the grit and the grime and the dirt and the stuff on it. And get those ready to go so I can prime them as well. So whenever I get around to the challenge and painting these guys up. I'll be able to have their bases ready to go too, so I can drill them and pin them and put them down, put them on there. What else, guys? Oh yeah, that's what that mess was. I'm sorry you're bouncing around. I'm just kind of going all over the place right now, just kind of give you a good idea of what I'm doing. So that's what this pile is. It's just like my basing stuff, the bits and things I want to put on different, just anything, any of the basings I have to do over here. I want to do that. Um. I'm going to do a tutorial later on that'll probably come out next week, maybe, if I can get to it, which is why that's in the background over there, that piece of terrain I did. I was going to do it with the snow effects, but I just haven't got around to it, so I'm going to go ahead and use it for this tutorial that I want to do. Anybody ever realize that tutorial is a really weird word? It's really weird. What else, man? I need to show you some else, other things, So, I, but I don't know what it is. I think that's it, honestly. I feel like in my head I had so much more, but now it's like... <laughs> um, I, I am going to be doing Frost and Fist little challenge thing. I've got it ready to go. I was going to probably work on it here in a minute. It's been uploaded and done talking about what I'm going to do and, and whatnot. But I'm probably going to work on some of it today and record a bit of it. Uh, so for my next step is painting myself. This guy up. And then painting this. Because I need to get this up and done as soon as possible. And sadly, I couldn't find the plinth. 
which which really stinks because I think that's part of the uh, it was it's part of the awesomeness of that I was gonna do to this figure is having that nice display stand. But I couldn't I can't find it. I don't I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. And right now I can't afford to get another one, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I just I, I think if I try to do it too much, I'm gonna if I worry about it too much, it's gonna take me forever to get this done and out. Um he's only pinned on this base, so I can paint him easier. Paint the base and him up easier. So let's see this guy. This may be where I use the last of my Space Marine legs. Poop salad. Oh, well. So, yeah, I really want to get this done and get this up so I can uh, hopefully sell them for a fair amount of money and, and donate it to cancer research, man. I'm really I'm really stoked. I'm really, I'm thinking positive. I think, you know, I think he's going to go for, if he goes for $5, cool, whatever. If he can get like $25 or $30 out of them, that's even better, man. It's a shock, but I mean that's why I'm planning on when I paint this guy up to do the the crispest, cleanest job I can do on it. Give it basing detail and stuff like grass work and whatnot, going throughout the rocks and stuff. Just make it look super nice, man. So that way I can uh, um, I, I can hopefully it'll appeal to somebody and for a good cause. You know they they they'd want to do this, want want to purchase this. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here so I can get started on stuff and see what I can rock, rock out, knock out, punch out, get back to some YouTube watching. The kids are off at a venture with their mommy. So I'm kind of home alone right now, just doing my own thing. Guys, I love you. I thank you so much. Apologize for the rambly bits on this. Um, yeah, y'all have a lovely, lovely weekend, my friends. Keep rocking that nerd life. I'll see you later.